Coach, um, video with the uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. Uh, obviously, Terrell Williams goes out. Uh, how comfortable are you with um, who you have behind him, Brian Edwards, St. Jones, and Russell Edwards? Uh, extremely comfortable. You know, we really like where we're at right now at the wide receiver position. Obviously, losing ties a blow, but uh, we said we started this thing. We got great competition at, at that position, and uh, the, the two young rookies have, have had a fantastic camp. So, uh, and great competition uh, too with uh, you know that entire group. So, uh, comfortable with the wide receiver position right now. Uh, Coach, it's Ed Graney from the Review Journal. Um, you know, John's talked about this in terms of really knowing what to expect in Carolina with that entire new staff. Um, I don't know what film you can watch from them, but more apprehension or more just excitement to see your young guys, or both? Uh, I think uh, mostly excitement. I think, you know, it's uh, the National Football League is, is a copycat league, and, uh, and we've really, I think, Coach has done a great job of preparing this offense for the multiple fronts. Uh, and coverages that we're going to see throughout the season. So that's how we just spent the camp really uh, throwing everything at our, at our offense. And uh, again, we felt like with the number of players that we have returning on our side of the ball, there wasn't a, a difficult uh, pickup from, from where they left off last year. So uh, we just threw a lot of different looks at them with that in mind that we don't know what Carolina is going to do. So it's been productive that way. Hey Greg, this is Drake. Uh, what are you seeing from the competition at backup running back? It's been very good. You know, there's a, a lot of tough decisions going to be made here in the next 24 hours, I think, and that running back position is one of them. Uh, but just great competition across the board. Levi Edwards, uh, Raiders.com. Uh, kind of going back off on that question, you have a couple of talented backs in Jacobs, uh, Bowden, and uh, Richard. Uh, do you expect to use all of those backs in uh, capacity uh, against the Panthers week one? I think again, once we decide who, who those backs are, uh, again we've got we've got hard, tough decisions to make here. So uh, when we get our roster cut down, then we'll, then we'll focus on the personnel groupings that we're going to use in this opening game. But we've got some cuts to make, and we got some decisions to make, you know, across the board at every position. So again, once once we do that, then we'll we'll talk about personnel groupings. Hi, Greg. Uh, Levi Damian from USA Today. Um, you guys uh, seemed pretty com comfortable enough to trade David Sharp for a draft pick. Um, just what makes you so comfortable in the tackle position to make a move like that? Well, Sam Young came in, uh, one of the players that we signed in the off season and, and had a very good camp. So it, it made it uh, a little bit easier to make that move. But we like uh, Sam, we like the development of Brandon Parker. Uh, and we felt again that our tackles are two of the strong points of our team. Uh, you know, when you look at Trent, and Colton. So again, competition at every position, including the offensive line, has allowed us to make some moves like, like moving David Sharp. Hey Greg, uh, Jesse from NBC out here in Vegas. Um, last time you talked, you noted that uh, Ruggs was kind of starting to slot and you were working around a lot there. How does the loss of Williams kind of affect the way that you guys are using him here initially? Uh, you know, it hasn't affected it that much. We, we're still using him in the slot, and we like where Brian Edwards is at, as we talked about that, too. Is when Brian was, was – uh, we had him slotted at that single X position, the single receiver position, and Brian stepped in very well uh, since we put Ty in our. So uh, both of those players uh, have done a great job uh, really in integrating themselves into our offense, and they're both uh, – extremely intelligent so we've been able to move both of them around sometimes you'll see Henry at the single receiver position sometimes he'll be in a slot and vice same thing vice versa with Brian so we're just happy with the way those two rookies have come along. Greg, uh, I know Lynn was uh, making a switch from wide receiver quarterback to running back in the NFL. Uh, if I started one place and is someplace else now uh, how has that transition gone for me? Well it's never easy. Uh, you know, you talk to him about making that transition really, really from high school to a wide receiver, then playing quarterback at University of Kentucky, and and it's a you know an entirely different game here at, at this level. So uh, we brought him along slowly, and we'll continue to do that, and, and again continue to try to find ways uh, to use him in our offense. Hey, it's Paul here. Um, Talking about the offensive line and, and with how much time Trent has missed in camp, how concerning is that for the cohesion of the offensive line? Or is it even a concern because you know what you have in him from last year when he played? And uh, what exactly has been going on with him this camp? Yeah, I, I, I think every every position, you know, it hurts when you have guys that are missing practices. Uh, just on 
for their own growth, but also uh, you know the wear and tear that it puts on the, the other players that are out practicing every day. So it's never an ideal situation, but uh, it does help that he was here a year ago, so a lot of the communication he's very well aware of. And uh, again, we're just bringing him along, uh, and, and uh, when he's ready to go uh, full-time, we'll, we'll bring him along full-time. But right now, we're just making sure that he's healthy. One more question, Adam? Yeah, it looks like uh, you know, Nate Peterman's going to be staying around uh, as a quarterback for you guys. What have you seen from him in his continued development? He's just gotten better, you know, since the day he's got here. I think we talked about constant, never-ending self-improvement, and, and Nate's a great example of that. Uh, he just works very hard. He's intelligent. Uh, he understands the system much better uh, this season. Uh, so he's a lot of growth from Nate Peterman, and, uh, again, we like where he's at. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.